Hey there, Raul here, back with another video. A few months ago, I made a video, a stock tips video, covering the topic of shooting signs. Signs are some of my top sellers in my portfolio, and I haven't shot signs in a long time, so I thought, hey, let's shoot some signs today. It's almost noon, which is probably the worst possible time you can go out and shoot, because the lighting is not the best. But nevertheless, uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. I didn't have much to do, didn't have anything on my agenda today, so might as well enjoy this beautiful day in Miami, it's sunny, uh, got some clouds, nice blue sky, so maybe I'll get some good shots. I'm headed towards Brickle, Brickle is in the downtown area, and uh, it's like a financial district, you've got a lot of international banks, and many tall skyscrapers, residential skyscrapers, with people from all over South America. So it's very Hispanic influenced area. I haven't been down here in a while shooting signs. I don't have many sign picks from the Brickell area. So, hey, maybe I'll capture a few more top sellers. You never know. Even though the time of day is the worst, it really doesn't matter. We're shooting stock picks here, you know. When you're earning 10 cents on a subscription commission from Shutterstock, uh, I really don't care if it's 12 noon because I'm not making a lot of money. These aren't National Geographic images. These are just stock images. And when you're on vacation, hey, you could be shooting the entire day. You could be shooting at noon. So time of day sometimes will influence your shot. But for stock images, I really don't care. I'll shoot any time of day. All right, let's see what we can come up with. All right, I think I found my first sign victim. It's that sign right there. Brickell Avenue. It's a very popular street. It's got a decent background with the skyscrapers. I think that's a very good opportunity. That will definitely sell. All right, from this vantage point, I'm a little too close to the sign. So I'm gonna need to step back, but if I do step back, I'm in the middle of the street, so I'm gonna have to wait for a red light so I can step back and capture a little better angle. Although I could capture this, but I think the angle is a little bit too sharp. All right, let me wait for the red light, take a couple steps back, and I'll show you what I got. And something else to consider is your vantage point, obviously, is important. But when you're looking at the sign, are you looking at it straight on or are you looking at it from an angle? So you have to look at the composition as well. So if I go more this way, I'm obviously looking at that sign from more of an oblique angle and I bring in the rest of the cityscape. And the sign then loses focus. So what I wanna do is shoot the sign a little more straight on like this, where I still capture the architecture background but the sign becomes more of the focus. Here's another sign pick, Southeast 14th Street. Um, from this particular angle, I really don't like it too much. I want to capture more of the building background, although the sky is nice and blue. Uh, I could take the shot, but I don't really think it's going to be a top seller. If I angle it a little more this way, then I think it becomes a little more interesting with the building in the background, the skyscraper a little more 
in the composition. So it could be a better angle. Anyway, I'll, I'll take both shots. But for this one, I'm gonna have to step back a few steps, basically in the middle of the street. I'm gonna have to wait for a red light. So let's see what we get. And if you're curious what I'm shooting with today, I've got my Fujifilm X-T3 with one lens, that's it. The 35 millimeter 1.4, which has the 50 millimeter field of view equivalent. And this lens takes some great sharp images and it's good for shooting signs. It's almost like a portrait lens. That's it, I've got my wrist strap. I've got it hanging off my belt here. I don't have a camera, backpack, very lightweight. Very simple setup. Hey, when you get old, you don't want to be carrying a lot of equipment. So for me, this lightweight solution with the Fujifilm was an excellent, excellent camera to capture stock images. All right, let's find some more signs. All right, we got a couple more signs here. We got a two for one here. On the right, you got Southeast 12th Terrace. And here on the left, you got Southeast 13th Street, which is Coral Way. And Coral Way is a popular street. So I'm certain this particular picture will sell and I can take it from probably very different angles. I can take it from this perspective over here or I can go over here on the right and take it from this perspective. Or I can shoot it straight on like that. So we've got several options. All right, let's do it. Right, now here's a really cool sign picture. This is new, I haven't seen this before. And see, so you see the Brickle name and you've got like some artwork. It's like a person shooting a bow and arrow and it says downtown on the left. So I think this picture will sell. The only question is, will I have to submit it as editorial? Is this considered artwork? Some agencies may take it as commercial. Some other agencies will require an editorial designation so I mean it's, it's the luck of the draw depending on the agency but let's see what we get here sign here right there southeast 10th street which is fittipaldi way and this street is named after the brazilian race car driver emerson fittipaldi a miami native i think he still lives here may have a house here but um all right let's capture this one got to be careful because there is again a logo or a bank name up there can't get that in the composition I could get it, but again, I don't want to, I'm lazy. I don't want to do a lot of post-production work. So let's see the vantage point. I could get it from this angle and then get that building in the background. If I get it straight on, it's pretty boring. And if I get it from this angle, I'm going to capture again, the bank name, which I want to try to avoid. Well, let's see what I get. Something else I forgot to mention is that I try to use the rule of thirds to position the sign. So that would be around the third right here, the third quadrant right there. If I do it in the middle, I don't like it as much. So I try to use the rule of thirds, either whichever side of the composition. So from this side, you've got the one third here. If I shoot from over here, you've got one third over here and I'll try to use the upper third quadrant or the lower third quadrant. Same thing over here, upper third quadrant, 
lower third quadrant, then I'd, I'd have too much sky there. So you got to experiment. All right, got a really busy intersection here. This is the intersection of Brickell Avenue and Southeast 8th Street, which is also called Tamiami Trail. And that's a popular street, so I think that sign pick all the way over here will sell. Now the tricky part is if I get all the way to the other end of the intersection under the sign, I'm gonna to be too close to it. I'm gonna to have to be probably somewhere over here in that median to get the right shot. And then there's another Brickell Avenue sign all the way over there, so that one again is gonna be tricky as well, but I'm gonna to have to cross the street over here and then maybe get it from that lane over there at a red light. Hey, taking stock pics can be dangerous, so you gotta be careful when you're out in busy downtown areas. All right, let's cross the street. Here, of course, we got a luxury Rolls Royce. A lot of money in Miami. So I think I'm gonna stand right over here. All right, let's see what I got. I'm not kidding when I say it's dangerous. So I'm standing right here in the median, trying to get the right vantage point behind the Rolls Royce. And I'm gonna try to shoot it from this vantage point. Get that sign pick right there. So I'm not gonna to have to cross the street to capture that sign right there. And again, that's gonna be tricky because I'm gonna to have to situate myself basically on the far lane. If I go to the middle over here, I'm gonna to be too far away, so I'm gonna to have to get a little bit closer about where that little motor scooter is. So again, it's a, it's a tricky vantage point to try to capture a good angle. But it's got a nice background. You got the nice blue sky. You got these beautiful skyscrapers. You got some new construction over here. Some buyers may want pictures with new construction in the urban area. So you want to get different compositions in the background. All right, let's cross the street. I may stop in the median over here. I only got 40 seconds. All right, I gotta do this one really quick. Twenty one seconds. Yeah, I really need to stand right here. I only got fourteen seconds. People probably think I'm nuts. Got it. <laughs> Earlier I mentioned that it was a terrible time to shoot, 12 noon. Obviously it's not a very good time with the sun directly overhead. But again, it's not important with these sign picks. And I think I've already captured a few that will be very, very good sellers. So when you're out there shooting signs, don't let the time of day discourage you. Obviously the lighting conditions could be terrible in one particular area that you're at, so you may have to move and change vantage points. But the point being is that you've got a lot of flexibility. And again, these are stock picks. We're not shooting the next National Geographic uh, cover, so there's plenty of opportunities for us out there. All right, let's find some more signs. All right, here's another popular intersection. We're on South Miami Avenue and 8th Street. And right over here, commercial area, a shopping mall. It's called Brickell City Center, very popular. 
Now, this is a time where I really would want to have a wide angle lens and my lens isn't going to be able to cover it because this building has Brickle City Center written on it. So right over from over there and it wraps around. So I'd love to capture that, but I just don't have a lens for it. So this will be a future, uh, future trip over here. But um, lighting is kind of harsh here with a lot of dark shadows, kind of tough lighting wise here. But I may take a pick of that sign over there. All right. All right, so I came back across the street because I noticed there's the South Miami Avenue sign. So I was able to capture that shot as well. So I had crossed the street over here, and then when I looked back this way, I noticed the sign there. So always look back, there's always signs behind you, in front of you, to the left, to the right. They're all over the place. All right, so I'm walking down South Miami Avenue and I run into this sign. It says SLS Lux. This would have to be an editorial shot. And this is a beautiful luxury condo, I believe. So I'll go ahead and take a shot of this again and submit as editorial. So when you're out there shooting signs and you see some good editorial opportunities, go ahead. You can make a few bucks off those as well. All right, I think I captured a few winners and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna stop off for some lunch. I think I'm going to get an arepa. Arepas are delicious. If you've never had one, try one. All righty, just got my lunch. I got a cachapa, which is delicious, but it's not very healthy. It's got a lot of fat, but I could use the fat right now after all the walking I did downtown here. Actually, not very much. I think I covered maybe one square mile and got a few sign picks. Had very low expectations when I started, but um, I think I got some winners. Maybe not some best sellers, but I think I got a few that will sell. Time will tell. So I'm gonna go home, work about an hour in post-production, maybe submit some of them to the stock sites today, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. All right, so remember, if you have the opportunity, go out there and shoot some signs in your neighborhoods. All right, take care.